G'day folks, today we're going to have a look at the F14 Rio Lantern tutorial. Now before we start, we're going to need to set up some controls. So in the controls menu, we're going to go to F14 Rio, we're going to go to Lantern control panel. Now these are the controls we're going to need. There is a few of them, but a lot of these we don't need. So we need area track, and I would suggest having area track, air to ground, air to air, and point track on a single hat switch. As you can see, I've got them on a single hat switch with a modifier, so all my lanterns have the same modifier. Laser latched is helpful, but not necessary. Uh, QWP is used for queuing to your waypoints, so I definitely suggest binding those. This S4 hat is a four-way hat with D-Press, and it's like a multifunction hat. Definitely need that. Now we have Lantern Slew, which can be in here or it can be in an axis. So if we go into Axis Commands, uh, Lantern Slew X and Y. You can also have um, the S3 hat, which is some of the other functions but is used as a button, so there's not much point having it as a, an axis. Back to here. Uh, this lantern slider changes between the different modes of the S4 hat. Definitely going to need this. Toggle field of view is used for zoom, so we're going to need this. Toggle white hot and black hot, again, something very useful. And the half action and full action are used to Laze the target and designate the target. So we definitely need those useful and some are just lights. Now before we actually get to target, we need to turn this, mo this knob all the way to pod and it will start an eight minute cooldown warm up process on the lantern. Now using the lantern, we'll need the laser armed, the video switch, press in to flare, and then when we go to TV on the TID, once um, the eight minutes are up, we'll see um, not ready, at which point we press this mode button to operate, and 30 seconds later we'll get the um, lantern symbology. So now that we're at this stage where we can see not ready, that means the lantern's actually done its eight minute warmer, but as you can see, the mode is now standby. So we'll press that, and it'll start flashing. And 30 seconds later, this will go to operate. And from that point on, we can actually do lantern -y stuff. Now, we're 17 miles out from target, or 16 miles out from target, which is about a, a reasonable range to start um, trying to find targets. It's not the zooms on the lantern are not great, so we don't want to be too far out. Now that's already on the target from previous um, attack runs. So what we've got here, we've got the northings and the eastings of the target. Could we, um, of the target. Oh no, sorry, of our aircraft. We've got our al our altitude, our um, knots ground speed and then our dive angle, which is plus three, so we're three degrees up. We've got white hot. Um, we've got automatic gr gain control. These are, f uh, we've got times, and we've got um, azimuth and elevation. Um, slant range, once we've designated a target. Time to overfly the target. And then info about the, ta the target position. So that's 108 for 7 at the moment. Down here we've got air to air mode and we're in rates for um, the locking. We've got A for auto lasing and a laser code. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to set this to air to ground mode. So we're going to use the buttons we bound earlier and go to air to ground mode. Now there's a few different designation modes. We've got Q HUD which will put it on the bore site, will bore, um, slave the lantern pod to the bore site of the HUD, so the little wing symbology. 
We've got Q Snow, which looks down in front of the aircraft. Then we've got Q Des, which will put us to our previous designation point. We also have QWP, which is Q Waypoint. And if you've, there's more waypoints in the um, Tomcats INS, you can scroll through it with QWP up and down. Now, this is um, when we want to zoom in, we'll change the FOV, the field of view. Okay. And then we've got toggling polarity, which changes the color of what's hot. And we've got um, laser control. So the L, when it's flashing, is saying there's um, laser energy coming out. And when it's um, steady, there's no laser on. So what's going to happen? We're going to go to Q waypoint 1. We're going to fly away from target a little bit. And then turn back in. And when we turn back in, we'll start searching for targets. And I'll show you how to lock a target up. So now that we've turned back onto target, what we're seeing across the top here, we've got a bar and a vertical bar. This is saying um, where it is in relation to us. So at the moment it's zero degrees off our nose. We've got this box, which is um, where the lantern is looking. And this sort of grainy boundary is the masking area. So if we put the box outside of this area, the um, air, it'll be blocked by the aircraft. Now to drop a bomb, we want to go to manual. We want to arm the bombs. We want to change the rotary to, in this case, uh, GBU-16s. Select the stations and standard delivery modes. Now what we're going to do, now that we're queued onto waypoint 1, we're going to uh, move the joystick and I'll put it in rates mode. If we press area track, it will then ground stabilize us. Press and hold the laser and it'll designate. If we can, we want to try and get a point track, but point track, especially in the Tomcat, is not great. We have achieved a point track, as you can see by this box. Now I'm just going to pause it on it. Um, we've got steering, we've got time till release. T rel is now 19 seconds and counting down. So when it starts getting to about 5, we're going to start calling out to the um, pilot. And at T rel equals 0, and these bars line up, we're going to drop the weapon. 2, 1, pickle. Okay, so you heard the weapon go away. This is. So we've lost um, point track, so we're going to just go to simple area track. Doesn't matter too much for a um, static object. We now have T imp, which is time till impact. Now, because we're in auto laser, this will start lasing at 10 seconds. Flashing L says we're now lasing. So we need to keep this box inside of the mask area. So we've got one second, and that was a hit. So now, quick BDA, looks like we hit the target. Now, you may want to know how to change these codes, and how to change between auto and manual lasing. The slider that I mentioned before, we go slider, uh, the slider aft, which changes laser code, is what it's called. And then we use the S4 hat. Depressing will change between auto and manual. And then left and right will change between the three digits that we can um, modify. And up and down will modify the code. I've already got this code set as our bombs are in the knee board. So if we bring up the knee board, laser code 1567. And we can change this with the canopy open, the engines off on the ground, near some ground crew. Um, it is something that can't actually be changed on the bombs from the aircraft. So we change the lantern pod. The other things we can do on the lantern pod, if we depress S4 hat normally, uh, without being in the laser code editing mode, you'll see we start removing symbology. So I'm just going to... Um, and it cycles through different amounts of symbology removed. 
Now this time, for an attack run, we're going to go Q HUD. And then we're going to turn into target. And we're going to get the pilot to put the wings on the HUD over the island. Over where he wants us to find a target. And we'll do a bombing run like that. We'll also, we have M for manual laser. So we'll, we will have to be using the laser this time. So what's going to happen here, the pilot's going to put the wings of the HUD on the HUD onto what we want destroyed. And then we're going to quickly go to area track mode. So let me know once you've got the wings on something that looks suspicious. Maybe this island here looks suspicious. Okay, so we're going to go to area track and we're going to call we've got area track and we'll use the FOV to zoom in and there are bad guys in this house so we're going to again full trigger action and it'll laze and give us this symbology we're going to fly right five degrees to line up for a drop we've got 31 seconds till release 50 seconds till we overfly the target is 018 for 6, which looks about right, at an elevation of 49 feet. And they're the coordinates for the target, if we ever need to tell someone else. Now, 10 seconds till release. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, pickle. Now, at a T impact of about 10, doesn't matter if you go a bit earlier, try not to go too much later. We're going to pull the first stage of the trigger, and now we've got a flashing L. That means we've got, um, we're lasing for the bomb, and we should see any second now, or in two seconds. There goes the building. So we didn't get the bright flash that time, but we did obviously destroy that building. Now, say we've slewn away, we can actually go QDES, which is the S4 hat to the right. And that will take us to our last designation point, which is where we last full actioned and saved a point if you ever lose a point or you want to re-attack. The only other thing left to mention, we've got, if we go the slider forward, we can get manual gain control, where S4 hat forwards, backwards, left, right, changes the gain and the level of the lantern pod. Uh, pressing it again. So when we first go to manual gain control, it'll be flashing, and we'll be able to change the settings. Pressing it again, we'll lock it solid, and the S4 hat goes back to its standard controls and pressing it again goes back to automatic gain control. I think that's it for the lantern pod, so uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, I'll start getting more tutorials out soon.